Well, there are two of Australia's finest female singers. Amanda Easton has been a darling of the indie pop scene over the past few years, thanks to her unique theatrical style and quirky sound. I dance to the music in my head. Don't pity cause I hear this tune instead. Meanwhile, Lady Cool has been taking her talents to stages across Europe and Asia and her cover of Simply Irresistible has been getting plenty of airplay here at home too. He's a natural love and he leaves me in awe. He deserves the applause and surrender because he... Later this month, the girls are teaming up for a special concert. But first, they're here to perform a classic track from the 1985 film The Colour Purple. Here are Amanda Easton and Lady Cool with Ms Seely's Blues. concert in Sydney late this month. For all the details, we'll head to our website. We'll come up into the light, ladies. You know, we, we know you're at the end of a great song when you go, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, what does that song mean to you? That's a ripper. 
Well, that song came out in the 80s, of course, but, um, and Billie Holiday came out in the 50s, but it actually reflects a lot of the things that was happening back then, a lot of the racism, a lot of the gender inequality, and yeah. so it kind of updates the message. Yeah. Okay, so you're part of the ladies sing the blues. You've, yes. you've got blue hair in yes. honour of it. Yes, absolutely. This weekend, tell us about it. Oh, it's actually the 23rd of July. Okay, it's at the Opera House, and there are seven divas, not just the two of us. We thought mm. all seven of us might be too much for you to take. So <laughs> there's just a handful uh, for Larry. <laughs> Lady yeah. Cool. That's right. That's mm. right. And this is Lady Cool's idea. It's been a, an idea brewing in her head for a long time. But we're all big fans of Billie Holiday, and she means a lot to a lot of singers. Fantastic. Yeah, music has gone in so many different directions. It's important to keep this music alive, isn't it? Mm. It, it really no, is. It certainly is, and also because. Billie Holiday didn't go to music school, so she grew up listening to Bessie Smith and Louis Armstrong, who was really the mother of blues and the daddy of jazz. Yeah. And so she built her own foundations, which every musician and singer in the world has learnt from to this day. She kind yeah. of built a platform. Terrific. All right, um, thank you so much. It was a lovely sound. Uh, Thanks really for having appreciate us. you coming in today. Thank you. Thanks, okay. Thank you. Laid this hour for you. We're going back to the year that saw three billion people tune in to a TV spectacular.